tomorrow. A lot on the line. The Chargers would also clinch a playoff berth with a win and would make things uh, a lot more interesting in the AFC South, down the stretch, the AFC rather, down the stretch. So we heard Steve talking about the Chargers injuries at the running back position. That is huge. Melvin Gordon is a monster. We also know that Spencer Ware and Tyreek Hill, the yep. Cheetah, mm -hmm. are banged up for the Chiefs. So they're going into a short week, big game, some wounds on the battlefield. Which team, though, is better equipped to handle some of those, I'm going to say losses, because we don't know if they're going to suit up, some of those, you know, dinks yeah. to their, sure. their army. offensive army. Uh, I'm going to go with the Chiefs. Hashtag Rowdy, like Steve Weiss said, obviously Arrowhead Stadium. Our, our, one of our favorite blogs, Arrowhead Pride, of the Chiefs put up a poll. What is the more impressive streak, that the Chiefs have won nine straight over Rivers or that the Chiefs' Chris Jones has a sack in nine straight games? Both of them are really, really impressive. I think the home field factor, I think the fact that Melvin Gordon, I believe, is the best player on the Chargers offense. I think he's their best player on the roster. I think he's huge for them. And also, through this nine-game streak, we've seen this before. 2015, Jamal Charles was out. There's all this talk about Jamal Charles this, Jamal Charles that. What are they going to do? They won 33-3. 30 points. Another time, 2014, week 17, the Chiefs were out. They had nothing to play for. Chase Daniel played the game, and he beat the Chargers. It all comes back to the nine-game streak. Any question until the Chargers can beat this thing, my answer is nine in a row, nine in a row. Do something about it. Yeah, I agree with you when it comes to Melvin Gordon. I do believe he's not just the glue of this offense. My dude is the super glue of this offense. Yeah, so when he went down, I said, oh, it's over. It, everything's going to fall apart. But then we had Anthony Lynn on the show, and we were asking him about the running back situation, and this is what he said. Room. And uh, it doesn't have a lot of experience, but right now they have fresh legs. They know what we're doing. You know, I tell guys, we're in week 13, 14. You're not rookies anymore. After you play that third game, I treat them like a veteran, and I expect them to perform mm. like a veteran. Mm. And so when, when Jackson and Newsom come off the bench, you know, this time of the year, like I said, they have fresh legs, and uh, a, a lot of veteran guys, the starters, they're starting to wear down a little bit. It's a long season, mm. and so it's nothing to see those guys bring juice to an offense. I've seen that before, but they're just two talented young backs. Both were highly productive uh, in high school, highly productive in college, and so they're not going to stop being productive when they get in the National Football League. Now, when Anthony Lynn talks, you know, it's not just that he sounds like James Earl Jones that I listen, but he, he has he has a certain confidence, a quiet confidence. And when he starts talking about Justin Jackson, Dontrez Newsom, I'm thinking to myself, all right, well, if he's not panicking, why am I panicking? Mm. I remember walking away from that, that conversation more confident in their running back room, minus Melvin Gordon, and now maybe minus Austin Eckler than ever. So for the simple fact that he's saying these guys are young, they got fresh legs, I'm not treating like rookies, they're going to come out and make some plays, I guarantee that the running backs for the Chargers are better equipped to handle mm. these chinks in their armor. Before he took the job as the Chargers head coach, Anthony Lynn was viewed as the number one running backs coach in the entire NFL. The running back if whisperer. anybody knows running yeah, backs, sure. it's that guy. Uh, at 7.13 a.m., a lot of people aren't talking about Rick Buckholder. You should. Rick Buckholder is a trainer for the Chiefs. He is worldly renowned and is viewed around the league as the top trainer in the entire league. They've gotten guys back on the field quicker than most other teams would. And Brett Veach is the GM of the, of the Chiefs. Did you see them sign Trakandrick West? Mm -hmm. Did you see them sign Kelvin Benjamin? Yeah. The Chiefs are looking towards the future. They know that they can heal up a Sammy Watkins. They can let us Spencer Ware get his rest. I feel like the Chiefs have one of the deepest rosters in the league and yeah. one of the best training staffs. I'm going to go with the Chiefs because they've been prepared for this all along. The injury bug has prepared to me Philip Rivers and company. They've dealt with so many injuries. Tyrell Williams had a, you know, an incredible season because Keenan Allen went down. So they have this immunity that they've built up mm. like I have to disease since I live in New York City and sure. take the oh, subway. Okay. I don't get sick as often and they when they deal with the diversity yep. it's like really? <laughs> <laughs> they're sort of okay and I'm looking at the offensive line. It might be a boring thing to talk about but we talked about it with the Vikings and so I considered which offensive line do I have more faith in? Mm. The Chiefs or the Chargers and it's it's the one where Philip Rivers, Chargers. they've allowed the fifth few sacks in the National Football yeah. League. Then you're looking at Justin Jackson over the past three weeks averaging over six yards a pop behind that offensive line. Melvin Gordon, who we love, he's the super glue. Yeah. He's never averaged four yards a carry in the National Football League in his career. And them, them as a team are over five yards a carry this year. It's the offensive line that's protecting them, right. protecting Philip Rivers. And what makes me think they'll be okay What's on up? Thursday night. Let's do it. Uh, George Kittle. Just, it's all just, kittle. This,